cases. Patrol desk. No, I'm sure it's a traffic case. And I'm in homicide now. I think. Yeah. Four stars. Three stars. Four stars. So it's slip of the tongue. So yeah, we'll do that now. And then we've done that desk. And then once I've done this, then I'll actually check the desk to see if there's any DLC ones for homicide desk. Usually probably the top. says he located a green Kaiser Frazier from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. I swear the more bad cards we bring in the longer the hot sheet gets. The rent, though, gives Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. There isn't a Mrs. Phelps, I'm gay. Passionate romantic type of people? I don't believe you. I like the sausage. How the fuck do I get out of this place? I got the jitters, okay? Exit. Story stuff, it could actually spoil some of the deals. I don't know what it is. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Careful enough to be murdered like that. Now that screwed all over the front gate. Yeah, so I don't want any of the newer cases when they're talking about previous cases. I don't like any of the DLC ones spoil because I've basically skipped them and done a different desk. And this way I've done them all in order, well apart from this one. But I'll try and do all the rest in order. Get you to shoot it. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. What a fuck. Is there a cheat? Did I need to catch him before the police? I don't think so. 
Out of the car now. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rear view mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car. That's fucked out. To prove it. Sam ran out of the guys at the Suffolk at the ownership of some car parts at the end, it's his name. This car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Blinking a lot. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. Yeah, it looks genuine. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Ah, look at his mouth for them. I ain't got a proof, so doubt. You see, he's swallowing a lot. Doubt. We're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Oh, gives a bit. How much? Cliff? One reaper. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> Coombs. Sure. Sure it wasn't sure. Eh? Positive? I've got no proof to say he's lying. And he isn't swallowing a lot like when I doubted him, so... Yeah, why would he lie? He made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do... But you've got a reefer. And you're not willing to, you know, share. You know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs on and check out Harrison's story. So it looks like the police was meant to stop it. Convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> That's true. This is paperwork all looked above board. He seemed like a clean cut kid. Just hung. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, he'd be singing a different tune. Yeah. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson for the man who single-handedly won the 